Why does it take so long to make vaccines? Developing a vaccine is a difficult process that involves several phases, each of which needs to be approved by regulators before the vaccine is deemed safe to enter the market. In the case of the 2003 SARS outbreak, researchers and scientists took over a year to develop a potential vaccine for the SARS virus. So why does it take so long to develop a vaccine? Let us understand the basics. Vaccines in the most simplest way work by introducing a small amount of a virus or bacteria to the immune system. This means that when the body comes in contact with the illness in the future, it recognizes it as an invader and knows how to fight it. Developing new vaccines against infectious diseases is complicated, expensive and takes a long time. According to the CDC, there are six stages of vaccine development. Exploratory, preclinical, clinical development, regulatory review and approval, manufacturing and quality control. Vaccine development also requires careful work from trained professionals in a variety of sectors throughout the process. With that in mind, some of the major stakeholders include health professionals, manufacturers, non-governmental organizations or NGOs, academia, government agencies, media, and individuals and communities. Why should we not rely on vaccines? In some cases, developing a vaccine and getting it to market can even take several decades. For instance, the first case of Ebola was diagnosed in 1976. Yet by 2014, when Western Africa suffered from an outbreak, a vaccine had still not been developed. By the time the disease had been brought under control in 2016, it had infected 28,000 people. The actual Ebola vaccine itself was only certified by the World Health Organization in November 2019. Hence, we should not solely rely on vaccines. Instead, we should follow social distancing and self-isolation guidelines as immediate measures to containing pandemics.